Hatfield? Landerfeld. Landerfeld, sorry. It's Raquel Landerfeld. Um, she's a serial volunteer with a young soul. In 2010, she co-founded, sorry guys, <laughs> uh, Mode Effect, a Phoenix-based WordPress agency that specializes in WooCommerce integration. Intentional about community building, she believes that wherever her feet are is where the building happens. Okay, currently she is active in several communities from tech to government to neighborhoods and more. You can usually find her organizing a word camp or volunteering pretty much anywhere. Thank you. Do I just arrow for the next? Okay. okay. Hi guys, thanks for coming. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll let her stick to the intro and we'll just continue on. Um, I do like humans and um, really truly believe in community building and I'll tell you why. Um, that's me and my good friend Shada. Uh, yeah. I, I co-founded Mode Effect in 2010 and didn't think I was going to. It happened and did a lot of admin and operations and discovered that I was good at that but it's not what I loved. And through between sometime uh, from then to now, I discovered what I do love and am passionate about, and that is community building. And that's what I call myself, a community builder, self-proclaimed. So what is community building? Anybody? Yeah. So I'm sure you heard it. It's very trendy. It's, I believe, a buzz uh, phrase right now. and. I don't know about you, but I'm sure you've seen on Twitter that it's what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, everyone talks about it, it's hashtagged, it's, um, it's buzzing right now, it's trending. So what I believe community building is, is intentional relationship building with humans. That's what I believe it is. So how does it start? Um, social media is a start. We know all the platforms. Um, I do a little... Shout out to Swarm, because I love Swarm, and you guys should get on Swarm so we can connect and see where each other are, because we know each other. That's why. <laughs> um, uh, networking events. We meet ups, um, tech networking events, uh, word camps. Those are good places to start uh, community building. You start to meet people there. And oh, yeah, that was the last one. Maybe a meetup. I feel like meetups are a little bit more intimate than actual just networking. Those are usually the first places you'll see it. That's, yeah, good start to community building. But what happens, I believe, is we get stuck there. We get stuck with going to the latest meetups, um, a bunch of different ones, networking, and what do we do at networking events? What do we, yes, and what do you do with the business cards? And forget about them, or, or maybe you do put them in, but yeah, what does that mean? Where do you connect? Where do you go from there? Um, and what I've noticed with social media is, and I'm sure everyone's noticed, we kind of get stuck there. We, get, we, we hide behind social media. We do a lot of interacting with others, and that's kind of where it stops. We tweet at each other or Facebook each other or Instagram and say hi or that's cool. But, I mean, it doesn't go much further from there from what I've seen so far, and this is what I'm passionate about changing. Um, also, I've noticed that there are some that work for uh, agencies, and they are trained on how to engage in social media, or there's maybe social media influencers, I'm sure we've all heard that, gurus, they're like thousands of followers, and, and they, they know how to engage. But do you see them in real life? Do you? see them outside of social media. So I've noticed this is a trend amongst, amongst um, corporations. And particularly in the WordPress community, um, you know, a lot of our sponsors, they, they're really good at that. And what I love about our WordPress community is that they're also good in real life. But, um, or we have maybe ulterior motives with our, it, I mean, it is, do we, do we, when you're meeting people, are you, do you want the business? Are you handing your business card? And that's what our motives are. Or th th that's what we need to check. We need to check wh why we're doing this, why we're going to meetups, why we're going to networking events. 
So that is what we're checking, our purpose. Do you want to pass out business cards? Do you want to generate leads? Or maybe it might be relationship building? So with that, um, I've discovered that handing out business cards and generating leads is, is superficial. It doesn't grow anything. Um, what I have discovered over the past, gosh, eight and a half years is that when you build relationships over time, everything gets better and everything wins. Um, the, the challenges are, though, that we're humans and we're silly. Just kidding. Um, we, we, sometimes there's conflict. Sometimes there's problems. Sometimes we're there are personalities that maybe we don't gel with, and that sometimes scares us, and we kind of stop there. Um, we have to check ourselves, actually, with community building, with networking. We need to check our motives. What, what do we want? What is the long run? What is the short run? Are we overly sensitive? Are, I mean, you really just need to self-evaluate. I've noticed, so those main two challenges are humans in general, but first, let's look at ourselves and how we can better ourselves. So how does it grow? Cultivate relationships, not business cards. That is my motto. Um, be a friend. Just be a friend to others. Um, show up. Show up and, and interact with people, and, but be genuine about it. Uh, we could still use social media. I, I am very avid on social media, but I'm love face-to-face. -face. That's my favorite. And yes, be genuine on and off the computer. It's important that people see what they see in social media, especially if you have a bigger presence there, that it's the same in real life. That's the big one. Um, I've noticed there's a lot of just superficial and um, we're, we were powered behind that keyboard. There's something that turns us into a superhuman, I think. And then we, we kind of lose it in real life. So Let's check that. Let's take little steps forward. Um, so what I really, really believe community building is intentional human connecting and relationship growing. It is others focused. How can I help you? What do you need? Um, be, make friends by being the friend to begin with. That's really super important. And smile. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is. Um, some WordPressers, you might recognize us. We were all at Disneyland Paris for WordCamp Europe last year. And that's, I love that picture because it's an excellent example of how communities grow and you make friends, like legit friends. And that's pretty much it. Um, I do like you and I do think we should go out and play. And I, I am a young soul and so I mean that like how a kid would want to play. Um, but that was very fast and uh, a general look, so if you have any specific questions, that's where we're at now. <laughs> yes? How would you recommend someone having that face-to-face, uh, -face genuine interaction when you're a remote workforce? Uh, definitely going to any meetup you can, networking events, but with the intention of building relationships. I mean, bring business cards. We all have, I mean, we are having businesses, we want to grow it. But if you're looking for that immediate business connection, it's just going to be superficial. So I would recommend smiling and, and really a, a shift of focus that brings it toward, toward making friends. That sounds silly, but I'm not kidding. That's, sorry, I got stuck. <laughs> that's, that's really where it starts, is having this shift of focus to not create leads to your business, but create relationships. Yes, yes. Yeah. I obviously hashtag, but yes. Like implementing with Twitter yeah. specifically? Yeah, hashtags, um, pictures on Twitter. Swarm is a good one. <laughs> I check in everywhere I go and I tag my swarm friends, and there's a lot of WordPressers on Swarm. And when you post a picture and you and you you tweet the swarm check-in, it actually translates at, it looks like a legit tweet as opposed to like the swarm tweet, if that makes sense. Um, yes, hashtags wherever you're at for WordCamp Miami, for instance, other hashtags, um, asking people to, hey, 
I'm going to be right here. Come join me during an event. Or telling people ahead of time, I'm heading to this WordPress meetup. Maybe you should come with me and make sure you're tweeting the link with, the, with your tweet. That's redundant. <laughs> Yes, yes, and it sounds, uh, when I first saw that, I almost thought it was a little pretentious, but that's where you check yourself. What is my goal? Is my goal to make friends with people and to build relationships? Because eventually what happens is, and uh, maybe some of you guys can attest to, it, attest to this, is business happens. You get clients that way. You, you meet bigger agencies who, who are overloaded and they need to offload, and then they send you referrals, so... Yes. Fiction. Fiction? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, I honestly don't have any like how-tos, but I really truly believe fiction is what gets our brains going and our creativity. And I mean, how many of that? It's all relationship and conflict. And I mean, any fiction you could think of. Sci-fi is my fave. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Cool. And also, uh, Brendan Green is working by referral to do the job. I'm sorry? What, 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 working by referral by Brendan Green. Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, top okay. denim. Okay, so um, I have a good hand doing resume and working with resume. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can probably answer both. I will usually answer with what they mean when they say, what do you do? And it means, like, how do you make money? I will say that, but then I will talk. I will direct it to. But what I love is relationship building and community building. Yeah, or then that if it's not going there on its own. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Well, if you, one way I know that I've found mentorship becomes super easy to get into and to um, take advantage of is co-working spaces. Uh, I know I've been a part of several, and every single one of them has offered free mentorships. And usually they're part of the co-working space, so then you, you are already building relationships, and you see them often. That's a very fast way. And then otherwise, if you're at a networking event and you meet one, of, then it is from that point, it's interacting with them probably on social media, connecting with them, getting their business card, and then actually intentionally connecting with them on Twitter and uh, Instagram, things like that. Because then you already met, so now there's, you're seeing each other. And if you're interacting, then they'll see you. And then eventually you could use their services and also continue a relationship. Yes? Is Twitter your main social media business at the moment? And if it is, how do you use it? Like, what are your Twitter habits? Twitter is one of the big ones. I would say Instagram's probably right with there, um, with Twitter. Uh, I tweet regularly. Um, a lot of day in the life because people want to do business with people, not with businesses. And but then I make sure that they know that I work for Mode Effect. And at least once. You don't have to go nuts. Yeah, but Instagram I love in Insta Stories, like as many Insta Stories as you want. And it looks like that's it, guys. But yeah, I'll hang out if you guys have any more questions at the Happiness Bar, if that's still around. Yeah, mm -hmm. she'll be at the Happiness Bar if you guys have any more questions. So let's give her a hand. I didn't know that. <laughs> and she did forget her speaker card, so make sure you find her later to get them for her. I'm from sorry. her. <laughs> she's she's going to have more for later. Okay.